Do you want to know the score of the UEFA Champions League match between Manchester City and Bayern Munich before it even starts? Today, I'll answer that question. My name is Illyrial and I provide match predictions using state-of-the-art artificial intelligence technology. In one of my previous videos, I accurately predicted Manchester City's victory over Bayern Munich with a score of 3-0. In today's review, I'll analyze the readiness of the teams for the game and predict the winner of this match, as well as make a prediction for the exact score it will end with. My project is not commercial, there are no advertisements on my channel, so if you like my prediction, please show your support by liking and subscribing. Let's get started. A week ago, there was no real competition in Manchester, which was fully reflected in the final score, 3-0 in favor of Pep Guardiola's team. The appearance of competition from Bayern Munich was only in the first 40 minutes of the game, and they were unable to stop the host's attack, with a splendid long-range shot from Rodri. After the break, the citizens confidently brought the game to a crushing victory by outplaying their opponents tactically. This spring's Bayern Munich is a good example of how a team that has been trying to get rid of the annoying Hollywood football club image for years is returning to its roots. Strange decisions by the leadership, the peak of which was the dismissal of Julian Nagelsmann while he was skiing. Terrible play that does not allow them to beat even the outsiders of the German championship. And, of course, endless conflicts. After the first match against Manchester City, there was a clash between Leroy Sane and Sadio Mane, which resulted in the Senegalese player breaking his partner's lip over some words. What those words were doesn't matter at all. The main result is that the atmosphere in the Munich dressing room is far from acceptable. Main was suspended for one match and fined heavily, but now he is returning. And even though the players supposedly resolved the conflict, one cannot be sure. Thomas Tuchel did not rule out the possibility that both players could start, which seriously adds intrigue to the game. It's not even interesting how many offsides Main will have during the match. What's more important is whether the situation will affect Sane's performance, as he is one of the few who tried to create something in Manchester. Overall, the German is the most effective performer for Bayern in the Champions League in recent seasons. On one hand, predicting Bayern's lineup on Wednesday is not particularly difficult since the core has long been known. Nevertheless, after the World Cup, many team leaders are in such terrible form that the coach will have to come up with something. Defender Dayat Upamecano completely failed in the second half of the game at the Etihad, making fans remember the terrible last season. Alfonso Davies lost sharpness after the coronavirus and began to make more mistakes in one-on-one -on -one situations. Jamal Musiala, the best scorer for Bayern in all tournaments, now only scores on holidays. And even Leon Goretzka, according to some insiders, no longer impresses Tuchel with his physical form. Thus, the only positive point for the hosts now is the return to form of Eric Maxim Chupamoting. At least they won't have to play without a forward, which allows for more options to get out of pressing. There are no other advantages for Bayern at the moment. It's a landmark event for Manchester City as one of the greatest modern coaches, Pep Guardiola, returns to his former home stadium after triumph. Guardiola hasn't been to the Allianz Arena for official tournaments for almost seven years, but now he has the opportunity to disappoint local fans again. A Catalan footballer, in his usual manner before a match, was giving compliments to his opponent with confidence that nothing is over for him yet. However, his coach's concerns can be understood from a statistical point of view. The problem is that Manchester City performs poorly in the Champions League away matches. In one and a half years, the team played eight games, but only won twice. Moreover, in the last three matches, they scored only one goal, while their opponents were Leipzig, Dortmund, and Copenhagen. On the other hand, it is more important that they have not lost, and currently, they do not require more than that. Focusing on the best players of the team before a match is a common practice. But when it comes to Erling Holland and Kevin De Bruyne, everyone else fades into the background involuntarily. Bayern Munich failed to shut down both of them, although they tried to make life difficult for the Belgian for most of the match. Kevin remains the best assistant of Manchester City in the current season, but he could not register a goal himself. 
but Holland, who even with constant supervision from Mathies de Ligt, was able to register 1 plus 1. The Norwegian forward has 47 goals and 6 assists in 40 matches, which are cosmic figures. In the previous two matches in the Champions League, Manchester City won against Leipzig and Bayern Munich with a total score of 10 o'clock, and seven goals were directly involved with Holland. Moreover, he has perfect statistics against the Bavarians, 6 plus 2 in 8 games. It can be undoubtedly said that Holland will not leave the field without a mark in the protocol. Thomas Tuchel at the helm of Bayern Munich has not changed the 4-2-3-1 scheme yet, so there is no reason to believe that it will not be the main one. The coach is unlikely to decide on rotation and defense as he has no one better than Upamecano in the center, and the midfield combination of Goretzka and Kimmich is too well coordinated. Main is definitely not expected from the first minutes, but Chupamoting will appear instead. Pep Guardiola may again play with a back three in a 3-4-3 scheme, as it worked perfectly. For central defenders in the starting lineup, but John Stones will help Rodrigo in the midfield zone, and Gundogan and Kevin De Bruyne will be positioned higher. At the forefront, of course, will be Erling Haaland. Bavaria noticeably slowed down on the last stretch of the season. Their team play and results worsened, with too many errors being made. There are also concerns about the player's mood. The fact that it even comes to fights says a lot. Manchester City, on the other hand, is doing the opposite. Even on the road, they managed to beat several top Premier League teams, scoring a lot of goals in the process. The citizens are on the rise. Everything leads to the conclusion that Manchester City will win the return match 2-1. If you want me to provide a review of a match that interests you, write it in the comments below the video. And to not miss my new reviews, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your attention.